back to my channel Code Fusion Hub. I know it's been a while I've been posted any video, but this is going to be an amazing playlist on lead code questions, which would be for 45 days each day I'll upload a video performing one SQL problem daily, which would be on lead code. So I'm thrilled to announce this playlist over here that I'm starting today and I'm excited that you're joining me in this journey and I'm sure that it won't be worth regretting your time that you have invested. So whether you're a beginner looking to build a solid foundation or you want to sharpen your skills, this playlist is designed for you. So what's the plan? Like what would the playlist consist of? So the plan is for the next 45 days, I'll be uploading a video each day where we'll solve a new lead code problem using the MySQL. We'll cover everything from basic to advanced concepts, ensuring that you get a comprehensive understanding of SQL and how do you apply it. Okay, so make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Let's make these 45 days count and transform your SQL skills together. So first of all, let's see what is lead code for the people who don't know about what is lead code all about. So lead code is a popular online platform that offers a vast collection of coding challenges and problems, which is designed to improve your coding skills. It covers various topics in computer science and programming, ranging from algorithms to data structures, which help us to prepare, prepare for our technical interviews. So in this, this is a lead code platform. The website I'll give you in the description box as well. If you don't know about it, here you have to create your account if you don't have one. By creating this account, it will lead you to the page where you can just create your account or if you have your account already, you can just sign in over here. So the option are available. So according to your preferences, you can go ahead with this. So here I have logged into my account and you can see the platform looks like this over here where there are multiple contests and multiple languages you can prepare for over here. So here we have to go to the problem section into which we would be studying about MySQL problems. Okay, so these 45 days we'll be looking upon MySQL problems. So MySQL is nothing but a structured query language which is used to manage and manipulate the databases. So it is one of the most widely used databases in the world known for its reliability and ease of use. So this is the backbone of many applications from small scale to large scale, large scale enterprises. So it is very important to have a thorough knowledge about this. So what we'll do over here is we'll practice the questions ranging from easy level towards medium and then towards the hard. Okay. So first of all, we'll be starting from the range where you'll get easy problems, where you'll build a bit of confidence as well and clear your basic concepts over there. And then we'll move to another levels over here. So you have various problems over here that have been given. So we'll just move on to a question day by day. So today we are going to solve the number 1527 that is the patients with a condition. Okay. So this is an easy problem. Okay. And we'll be looking upon this and finding a solution to this. And first of all, we have to think about the approach while reading any question that how do we solve with which approach okay so let's just start with our code now we'll read the question over here okay understand what the question is all about what is the expected output for the same over here here is our code editor where we have to write down our code and we can run over here the code and the results would be over here and we can submit the answers at the last when all our test cases have been passed over here. Okay, so we have selected this language over here as MySQL because we are going to run our code over on that only. So let's start with the first question that is patients with a condition. Okay, so what are we provided over here is that a table is there. Okay, whose name is patients. Okay, it is having the column names as pa patient ID patient name and whatever conditions the patient is having so the patient id is given as the data type int the patient name is where care and the conditions is also where care over here here the patient id acts as a primary key okay the column which has unique values over here for this table and here next the conditions so the conditions here can be 
separated by spaces also this is what they are saying so what we have to find over here we have to find a solution where we have to find the patient id the patient name and the conditions of the patients who have type 1 diabetes okay so how do we know that the patient is having type 1 diabetes so they have said that type 1 diabetes always start with a prefix that is this okay so we are given the input as this over here in this test case what are we having is a patient id whose patient name is given and the conditions over here now we have to identify the condition with type 1 diabetes so type 1 diabetes has this prefix the prefix that is diab1 that is type 1 diabetes so now this type 1 diabetes code is in a string okay so we have to identify a particular part from that string that does it matches or not so for finding such things we use the like operator over here okay so what is this like operator in my sql so this like operator in sql is used to search for a specified pattern in each column okay so it is commonly used in where clauses to filter the records which is based on the particular columns value to match the pattern that has been specified so we have to match this pattern from the whole string over here okay so we have this whole string and we have to just match the pattern that similar kind of pattern is present over here in this string so it was it will help us using this like operator we can achieve this so what are we going to write in this query over here so first of all we'll see that what we want in a solution we want patient id patient name and conditions we want all three of them that is present in this table patients so what are we going to do is we are going to select what are we going to select the patient id okay because we want the patient id we want the patient name and also we want conditions so where do we get all these we get all these from the table that is patients that is given over here okay so we have this patients table and into which we have been provided these columns so we would just find them from the patients column over here okay now we have to apply the condition that we want all three of them but i have a specific condition that i only want the patients that have type 1 diabetes so next here what we'll do is we'll just apply our filter condition where we'll put the condition that we want only this prefix data to be there in our result so what we'll do is apply the where condition over here on this conditions column to check multiple conditions over here so let's say we are firstly going to operate using the like operator over here so you have to mention the like operator as this as the sql syntax over here then you have to take one string into which we are going to give a percentage symbol okay so into this we have to mention what string we are going to find out using this so what we'll do is we'll just use uh, diab1 which is used to uh, differentiate that this is of type diabetes 1 okay so now why did we use this condition over here so this condition is used because it checks anywhere in the condition column any of the type diabetes is preceded by a space or not whether it appears in the middle or the end of the string conditions so for that reason we have used this condition and also we are going to add one more condition over here so our next condition would be we would check that either this condition is true okay it is preceded by a space or something like that or if not then we would use this diab that is for differentiating type 1 diabetes and just giving a symbol over here of percentage okay now why did we use this condition over here so this condition is this part which appears at the beginning of the condition column without preceding any space okay so this was for preceding for any of the value that has a preceding space and this is not for that okay 
So it would check multiple scenarios on the basis of this when you have certain or conditions over here. So either this condition is true or either this condition is true. So it would work on both of them according to whatever different values we would be having here. Okay, so the values can be in different forms. So we have to check all the conditions accordingly so that we are able to find out all the results accurately, most accurately where we can. Okay, so we'll just check uh, by running this. Okay, so we have a run button and a submit button over here. This run button will go and check all the sample test cases that is provided by the lead code platform. Okay, so all the sample test cases have been accepted over here. And after this, what we'll do is we'll just submit our code over here. Okay, so on submitting our solution, we are confident that this answer is correct. So lead code will evaluate its multiple uh, test cases, the hidden ones also. And when you just submit it, it uh, runs against a variety of test cases to determine that if this solution works in multiple scenarios according to multiple conditions. So you just can't look upon one condition and be like, uh, yeah, this condition has been satisfied. So we can move on to another one. We have to check for multiple scenarios. And according to that, we have to look upon the solution for the same. Okay, so this is nothing but the problem solving skill ability to imagine that in any, any of the scenario, we are able to work on this. Okay, so this was about today's solution. I already had submitted. so. This graph is coming like this because I previously have submitted this same solution over here. Okay, so make sure you also run and submit the test cases to check that all test cases have been evaluated also the hidden ones also. And if you face any error, then you can let me down in the comment section below and I'll get you guys through it too. And uh, make sure you have subscribed to my channel. If you like the video, please hit the like button. And I'll see you guys in the next lecture with another problem and another problem solving skill. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.